which does not let you log into the system and the error message says your PC ran into problem and needs to restart. We are just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. Eventually this error message stands for a very short time. Let's see how it looks like. So when you start your system this error pops up like for a second and then suddenly restart the system. Let me show you the last part in a slow motion. There you go. So after the error pops up, immediately system restarts and then starts this automatic repair. And after some time, it starts diagnosing your PC. And finally, when it finds out that there is nothing to do more it comes up with this screen showing two of the options to restart or the advanced option so before going into the advanced option for resolving this issue let me tell you why this situation comes there are multiple reasons which includes changes in registry recent changes in hardware of the system any recent driver installation which went wrong or improper shutdown of the system which includes forceful shutdown let's get back to the automatic repair screen here from here if you restart the system it comes with the same error and end up here only click on advanced option here you have three options continue troubleshoot or turn off your PC so believe me guys if you can just click on continue it will not do anything and it will end up again in restarting the system and getting the same error again so click on the troubleshoot option here four options are there refresh your PC if you click on that it will again not gonna help you Re reset your PC is not gonna help you and diagnostic and recovery tool set is not gonna help you so go to the advanced option now here there are multiple options that you can use to restore your system so the first option is system restore if you have created a restore point then only the first option system restore uh, is going to help you well i have not created any restore point so this option is not going to help me uh, neither have i have created a recovery image so the second option system image recovery is not also going to help me startup repair we have already done that startup setting uh, you'll get different options here like logging into the safe mode if you uh, try going into the safe mode um, it is not going to help you again so i'm just going to back and click on the command prompt now after clicking on the command prompt select any one of the user and type in the password once you type the password go to the c drive by typing c colon uh, so let me explain you what I'm going to do basically here. So I'm just going to restore the registry. Okay. We have seen the reasons for this issue. One of the reason is a registry changes. So what I'm going to do is uh, whatever the changes uh, that have happened unintentionally, I'm just going to revert that and uh, restore those registry uh, back to its uh, original state. So go to the C drive by uh, writing C colon, then go to CT windows system 32 folder. From here, go to config folder. To see the content in this config folder, just uh, type DIR. Okay, so in this folder, if you can see, there is a folder called Registry Backup, REG Back. So I'm just going into that folder, REG Back. And to see the content of this folder, I'm just going to write it down DIR. So uh, in this folder, in this registry backup folder, there are five basic files, default, SAM, security, software, and system. These are the registry backups. And if you observe in the previous directory, that is config folder, in the config folder itself, there are the, all these five files are located, default, then SAM, security, software, and system, okay? So what I'm going to basically do here is I'm just going, I'm going to replace all those five, five files from this folder with this backup files. In order to do that, I will first rename all of these five files available in the config folder. So type in 
R E N. The first is okay. Uh, I'm not going to rename the files in this registry backup folder. So I'm going back to the previous directory and from the config folder, I will first rename the default file. So rename default to default one. In the same manner, I'm going to rename SAM to SAM one, rename security to security one, rename software to software one and rename system to system one so all of these files have been renamed to these names now what are we going to do here is we are going to copy these five files from registry backup folder to the config folder okay so let me go back to registry backup folder and copy all from this location, the current location to C Windows System 32 and config. So you can see all these five files are now copied into the config folder. If you want to just, uh, if you want to confirm, go back to the previous directory, config directory and type in DIR. You can see here, this is the copied file default and the other one is the default one, which we have renamed. Now, all you need to do is just type in exit and turn off your PC. Now, if you start your system again, the operating system will load and it will start normally. You can now easily log into the system. Start working like Mali. Twerking like Mali. Start working like Mali.